how to be the typical Bristol hipster in 90 seconds. So a majority of young people in Bristol are students, and a majority of students like to think they're hipster. Most students will study a creative subject, perhaps music, photography, film or even art. A typical hipster lives in Gloucester Road or close by and doesn't work because what else is a student loan and living out your overdraft for? Shopping at the likes of Loot, Sobe or any edgy looking charity shop to find some wavy garms. Clothing wise it can be anything from vintage hoodies with ankle grazers to old capities, retro bomber jackets, creepers and don't forget the unnecessary amount of jewellery and non-prescription glasses to look the part. Don't even bother if you don't have at least one facial piercing or a tattoo and a beard for the boys. You have to walk, skate or cycle everywhere because driving is just too mainstream and not good for the planet. Oh, and how can I forget? You have to be vegan, gluten free, lactose free and dairy free. Which means we live in the likes of Falafel King, Cafe Kino or any vegan free from food place. Drinks wise you have to go to edgy bars with cool interiors. You'll find these on Gloucester Road which is full of culture. Attic Bar, Blue Lagoon, Maganelles, they have cats in there. And after drinks, head on down to Lakota, Motion, The Lovin, Thecla, Blue Mountain, Drum and Bass, Techno, Jungle, anything with a fast beat to it. And that concludes how to be a hipster in Bristol in 90 seconds. Oh, and don't forget you've just come back from your gap year.